Welcome back to A Late Show. Honored to be sitting down with President Barack Obama. I talked to your, your wife about this. Y'all seem strikingly normal. Like, if I still live in Chicago, because I, I live in Chicago for 11 years, yeah. if I'd stayed there for a year, I'm sure we would run into you at some benefit. We'd hang out. You know, some, you know yeah. we would have seen each other at something. You seem right. like people that we would know. Not everybody in Washington, D.C. seems that way after being here for 40 years. Right. They're lovely people, but right. they just, they, they don't seem like just folks. Right. What, what did you think you got from, and you touched on this a little bit in the book, of being a community organizer to a state senator to a senator to the president of the United States to out? That allowed that that allowed you to maintain, and this seems more pejorative to those who don't do it so quickly. But a little bit of your humanity or your commonality of the American experience. You know, I I, I think uh, part of it was my political success happened late. You know, if you think about, let's say, Bill Clinton. You know, he was I think the youngest governor ever in Arkansas. Joe Biden was a U.S. Senator at 29, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, at, at 40, I had just lost a congressional race. Mm -hmm. I uh, maxed out on my credit cards. You know, I'm going to the grocery store with Malia and Sasha in tow. Uh, actually, Malia, because Sasha was born a, a, a year later. Um, and, and so, we had lived um, a normal middle class life with student loans and washing your own car and uh, you know uh, waiting for luggage at the airport, uh, you know, coming back from you know a, a vacation and and so uh, we then get kind of shot out of a cannon. But you're formed by that point. You know, you real as I used to describe uh, to folks right after I, I gave that speech at the Democratic National Convention. Um, I wasn't smarter the day after that speech than I had been the day before. Uh, my first book uh, was no different. The one that sold fourteen thousand copies and then sold three million copies after that speech. Right? It's just suddenly. You're getting all this attention, and and so I think for Michelle and for me, we both took the the uh, the outsized fame with a grain of salt. Um, and then, as I write about in the book, it also helped to have my mother-in-law around, who is the least pretentious person I know. I have met her. Yeah, and I she's just her. she's down to earth, and she doesn't understand all the fuss and. Um, you know, and she was great to have around also with the girls. I write about the fact that probably maybe one of my greatest successes and Michelle's greatest success uh, in those eight years was raising these great girls who don't have an attitude and don't feel entitled. But part of it is because my mother-in-law, you know, if she saw him acting bratty or he's all, you guys haven't done anything. Why are you acting special? <laughs> You're just here for the ride, you know, and 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 they suddenly go. You're right, Grandma. So uh, so she was a she was a huge blessing. Um, in that speech in 2004, the Democratic National Convention, I was yeah. in Boston watching it from across the street, and we were struck. I was watching it with me and, and John Stewart, and some of the other producers were watching you give the speech, and we're like, "Who's this Barack Obama guy?" First of all, like everybody else, right. who's this Barack Obama guy? And then when I believe that's the speech where you threw in, "I am the." Grandson of a goat herder, <laughs> we went boom. That is the humble beginnings neutron bomb. That, that's pretty good. Did you know? Let's put this in here, and I'll blow all the like son of a milkman off off the goat, street. Goat herder, goat herder is hard to top. It really is. Yeah, you got to go back to log cabin days to beat the the goat herder. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. The, uh, mm -hmm. True story. What can I tell you? All right, we have to pay the bills again. Everybody, stick around. We'll be right back with more President Barack Obama. Thank <laughs> you.